Okay guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a bit of a while since we posted anything. Uh, purely because we've been overwhelmed with projects. But, um, I've got updates. We've got a B20 VTEC um, in for stage 1 plus package. So, what this consists of, usually the reason we call it stage 1 plus and not a stage 1 is because we, um, we do the bottom end. So, stock pistons, stock rods, ARP rod bolts, obviously the RPM, we bought the oil pump. Um, and it's got valve terrain, but it's also running a set of our own regrinds and a ported intake, which we do ourselves. We cut it open, we weld it up a bit, uh, add some dividers and a few other nicks and ticks. And uh, should be interesting to see what it can net us. So for now, I've got a small update in terms of that. Let me show you some of the stuff. So budget vernier gears, obviously, and those are the new camshafts. Um, Obviously they're our own grind, up to our own spec, so I can't really share that. But uh, we're hoping to make some good power with it. And uh, these are the bolts for the cam pulleys with the keyways, which just, sorry, slip into there to locate the verniers, which also has a slot over there, as you can see for the keyway. And then also the strut bar has been sandblasted and powder coated along with the tappet cover, as is the white theme with most of our builds. So, uh, nothing too special. And then two dash 10 um, well done bungs for the catch can, uh, just for that extra blow band stuff, just over the security, so that we don't get any of that muck going back into the engine. And uh, yeah, that's it. And then over here we have the cylinder head, which we are currently busy porting. Uh, this is the intake side Still a bit rough because we've done some cuts, but we haven't really finished it off yet um, We'll see in progress for this thing. So a slight bit of head work but Keep in mind that we will be dropping a bit of a feature on this vehicle specifically and uh, Similar to this. This is a Skank 2 Pro Series copy Which we cut open that still needs to be ported, but uh, I'll give you guys more on that later and uh, Yeah that is what's been happening over here. Uh, we still need to do the combustion chambers. Um, note that this car won't have a lot of compression or anything because it's stock pistons, not even Z pistons, like B20B pistons. So, um, definitely interesting to see what it's going to make. <laughs> you see what I did there with the cinematics? Anyway, um, so for a GE20 valve, uh, we're adding trumpets we will be removing most of this stuff over here. So this thing is in for a wire tuck. It's running on a dictator management and we'll be rewiring that because the previous installer was a bit careless, I guess. So there's no water temp reading. Uh, some of the wiring to the coil is a bit weird uh, and some of the grounds also. So we'll try to eliminate most of that. And uh, I think I mentioned it. We're going to be removing the air conditioning system, which is part of the reason why we have all this going on here and as you can see uh, obviously not up to scratch and then we are sending in the stepper cover for a uh, powder coat and a sandblast and as well as the start base you see over there Teota did a good job there not the biggest fan but that's a nice start okay so uh, yeah that's about it oh, before I even forget yeah it is in the what is this yeah, like it's, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, <laughs> it's in this little, you know, this twin cam chassis, it's nice. Um, it's got the leather seats going, it's nice and clean. This is a grown man's car, he looks after his stuff, so you guys can see it reflects in the video. And hopefully by the end of tomorrow or so, the car will be completely stripped and then uh, we'll get into it. Or I actually might just, I might just do it on the vlog. Yeah, we'll see. I'll do it on the vlog. Um, and then you guys can see part of what goes into this. So we are going to remove... Almost everything, um, the fender, the other side's fender, uh, the bumper, and just for the hell of it, maybe we'll take the bonnet off. And then we're going to throw in a set of trumpets as well. Uh, that's what the gentleman wanted. Uh, we'll be doing that. And then just generally just neatening everything up, and then we'll wire it up properly. Uh, give it a cold start tune. Maybe I'll record that for you guys. And, um, and then we'll tune it uh, on the road, and then we'll hit the dyno afterwards to see how much it makes. But it's a bone stock motor, so... We'll see, depending on its health. I don't exactly know what the mileage is on it, 
But uh, before we tune any car, we obviously do oil change, fresh plugs, cap them accordingly, um, check the fuel fault out, all those kinds of things, and just make sure it's generally safe, like the timing is on TDC, and the belt is nice and tight, and all the other little things to make sure it's charging and, and so forth. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, while I still have you guys, uh, I've got the intake camshaft, which you can identify because it has the uh, slot. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> it has the slot for the distributor. So that's the keyway. Note that it's wedge shaped, okay? And then you'll see on the. Because uh, the camera's on. On the other side, it's got a wedge shape over there, so it goes in that way. And then I'll show you guys how to put the cam seal on, so you guys might as well, like, yeah, have a look. And then obviously this is the seal, the back end of this is going to face your vernier gear and then the front will face the camshaft. So let me just get this all together because I can't basically record and do it. Okay so as you can see that is slipped in there, it's got a nice flat profile and so then the next step will be to slip over the seal. Okay so seal is on and now we slip over the vernier gear which has a keyway slot as well and then we just put the bolt on. Okay so the seal is on, the vernier gear is on and uh, now we just have to enter the bolt and then follow Honda's torque specifications and uh, then we're ready to boogie oh yeah also um, we've marked off where the TDC po points are basically when the engine is stopped at center and when the cams are TDC uh, with some engine die you know the normal slide that you like that you use to uh, mark off bolts that you fastened as a reference uh, we laid these over the stock ones the, where the keyway is, is normally where your up indicator is, which is basically there, and then over there is TDC, so we've done it on both. So intake cam is done, and now it's just for the uh, exhaust cam. Oh yeah, also, um, we've marked off where the TDC po points are, basically when the engine is stopped at center, and when the cams are TDC. Uh, with some engine die, you know the normal slide that you like, that you use to uh, mark off bolts that you fastened? As a reference, uh, we laid these over the stock ones. The where the keyway is is normally where your up indicator is, which is basically there, and then over there is TDC. So we've done it on both. So intake cam is done, and now it's just for the uh, exhaust cam. Okay, so they are assembled. There you go. Um, let's talk about this for a second. Don't know if the lighting is good, but as you can see, there it's noted. Each mark on this vernier gear, which is over there, there's a little indicator, don't know if you can see that. Each mark equals 2 degrees on the crank. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of an R and an A there. And then obviously we've got these Allen cap bolts around the vernier gear. So basically, if you guys want to understand what this is for, if you loosen all of these, you can physically change the position of the cam in the engine, obviously while the belt is still on. So why i guess right first and foremost when you for example um have a stock engine and it's tdc right so that means the the piston number one and four is top dead center it's at the top of the bore it's the furthest it will go up and so forth and so forth and then your cams will be centered also right so what you have the ability to do here is to advance you know, two degrees, four degrees, six degrees, and so forth. You can advance or retard your intake or exhaust cam, which uh, if you're using big camshafts, you get something called a cam card with it, which is very important for setting up your cams properly or degreeing them. So you can make the most amount of power uh, based on the specifications of whoever manufactured the cam. So uh, let me name some common guys, uh, Skunk 2, uh, Buddy Club, uh, Web Camshafts, Rocket Motorsports, uh, whatever you like, blocks, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of them out there. So, in the case of our regrinds, we don't have to worry that much about um, piston to valve contact, which is like when the piston hits the valve, or valve to valve, or the two valves collide. So, we don't actually, actually have to like degree the motor, but we will either way. Um, and then we'll set the cam timing. So, when you advance it, obviously it opens sooner, when you retard it, it opens later, and so forth and so forth. Same thing for the exhaust cam. Uh, just in case you guys are wondering a lot of people don't know and obviously there's lots of uh, manufacturers out there that uh, produce these vernier gears you even get uh, locally made sets I'm sure everybody knows the dude we call him um he's got a good set too i mean it works if you're on the budget and so forth these are a decent set too they'll get the job done so now you guys know how to put a cam pulley any cam pulley or a vernier gear 
onto the camshafts and uh, now you know how to swap cam seals if it comes down to it. As you can see, the Toyota is stripped on the side. Uh, we are busy doing some wiring. Uh, for the most part, the most obvious part is there is a front support that runs from the top of the nose panel to the bottom. It's quite a bit of an issue we discovered once we stripped it. It's not really that important. Headlights out. Um, majorly, most importantly, just taking out the aircon system and everything else uh, coupled with it, freed up some space. Uh, we're still going to figure out what to do with these two fuse boxes. And uh, just because the owner is not so hardcore, we might as well still leave it accessible, but uh, clean up some of the wiring. Uh, mainly some of the stuff going on with the distributor over here, and then you see where the TP100 is. And this plug is damaged, so it just pops right off, and we've got amp wiring and all kinds of stuff. So I guess this is a wiring vlog, sort of. Now you see now, you know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? It won't be too detailed. Um, we'll finish off some of the other stuff. Um, but most importantly, uh, we got some of the stuff back. We're just chasing leaks and stuff. So, factory branch uh, with the manifold that comes over it, the cover. So, uh, we've taken all of this off. Uh, we'll be touching up some of these little items, the start puzzles off. I'll explain why in a bit. So, this is the side cover. Um, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, sticking with the theme, everything's not going to be red though. That's. Uh, I think it's post office red or a code similar to that as long as it pops it doesn't matter so we've modified this so we can see the uh, cam gears or pulleys or whatever you prefer to call them so this unit is plastic so we couldn't really powder coat this but i have managed to dremel it out to an extent and then uh, we'll finish some of these edges off and then flat it down so it can have a nice surface for paint and um, we'll throw some white on it oh my god wow so this is the Toyota Tappet cover, as you guys can see. It's actually still dirty, like if I did this. Mm, yeah. Um, and that's the stud bar. I like the twin cam ones, they're nice. Nice and red there to uh, match with the theme we have going on. And then uh, that's the manifold cover, so if you're going to use a stock branch, you might as well make it look like something. So, yeah. So that's with the brackets on. These two over there, and then we've got the heat shield. Um, tap the covers on and so is the stat. Um, only thing we're waiting for stop <sighs> okay the only thing we're waiting for is for the plastic primer to dry on this side and then we'll be adding up the side cover so it's actually fairly simple and then there's a plug lead cover as well it uh, obviously with the logo on it Toyota and 20 and 20 valve whatever uh, sorry for the lighting so this is the side cover um, with plastic primer on it so, since it's going to be sprayed white, the primer helps a bit. The color will pop more. Um, I tried, let me see. I tried my best to get this nice and square. Well, center at least. Um, I think we sort of achieved that. And uh, once we throw some color on and some clear and uh, let this dry, then yeah. Oh, one more thing. And here's the sky fitted. Bit of under influence going on there, but uh, just to give you a quick update, sorry about this. Everything else is fitted. Um, yeah, also a solenoid seal, should be this one here in the front. Uh, we had a bit of an issue with that. There's an o ring um, that attaches to this, so that's for the VVT. And um, so, right now, we're busy with the wiring from the uh, ignition coil um to the tp100 from the dictator and uh this is a poor job here i'm gonna desolder this and redo that and then we've repinned the temperature sense output which was the main issue on this car so on the 20 valves uh, it's just that guy over there so we'll get the factory plug on there um still need to put on the trumpets and um obviously the rest of the hardware and stuff yeah we had a bit of an issue with the mounting as well i actually didn't notice until the other day so i pulled this one off and then uh polyed it with a 75a solution which is a bit harsh but it's not fully filled and as you can see there's still some gaps in the mounting over there to allow um room for flex so the chassis doesn't vibrate and um then 
neochrome hardware for the fenders and so forth. Uh, two packs of that. And then this front cover's already sprayed, so we'll get that going. So like in the laptop, uh, give it a cold start tune. And then take it to the road, and then uh, get the fenders on. So, yeah. No motor, still busy with that. Disgusting. Um, what I did here so far, by the way, for the update, is uh, all the stuff I welded, basically. Um, busy grinding that down. And then we'll go over it with the fiberglass and stuff and whatever to get this nice and flush. As my old cylinder is laying down there. As well as the valve draining everything else and the crank. Which I'm not too bothered about because this is on the back burner. But I promise to give you guys some more content on this. Um, I've got the backup wheels on. And uh, yeah. Fuel rails are ready off. Bump on the roof, YOLO. And uh, more on this later. Everything else is in here as well. So... What you guys missed is, we did a poly mount there. Uh, we did one at the back at the bottom for the gearbox mounting. Um, we also ended up changing some stuff on this manifold and redoing the sump. Because uh, these don't have a gasket. So now I'm just tying up the final bit of wiring, having a young solder. Um, and then after that we can start it up, plug in the laptop, give this boy a cold start tune and... Uh, yeah and drive it so yeah fenders on both sides even though the car's in the air i uh, gotta get that bumper on there and then after that guy's on um she'll be good to go so she's got a bunch of heat shrink here which obviously does the job i moved the tp100 and everything else that way and a bit of hardware everywhere else and I like some Allen caps going there, um, covers on, so basically just getting this guy ready to leave, if you know, you know. Hey, somewhat assembled who this? so uh, yeah in terms of progress we've got a battery on, um, made some new grounds so everything else, most of the loom is sorted, we've got the coil mounted there and uh little sound system item be there and uh there's the tp100 for the dictator uh, i swapped out the temp sensor as well and uh sync the timing there's two marks you can see them over there um so it corresponds the side cover is obviously off uh, but we'll get that back on uh, got the washer bottle going so it just needs a bumper anyway um i messed around with the laptop yesterday somewhat um let me check here quickly and then oh there's power to the dictator let's see if it'll swing so that's the cold start tune we also discovered that this vvt gear is slightly noisy so i look into that um but it's turnkey kind of difficult i'm gonna go through the throttles again to make sure everything's happy but for now let's listen to the sounds of uh 20 valve VVT gear, I hate the sound of that, so I'm gonna have to replace this pulley. Um, but anyway, here's a little rev up. Anyway. Uh, and with that, I think I'll end this vlog. So, uh, or maybe I'll just add a clip of the car fully assembled and driving. But I'm going to have to go tune this thing. Um, let's do that later.